It's great meeting both of you guys. You too. I got to tell you guys, this is one of the most original stories I have ever seen. Once I saw the plot synopsis on it, I was like, I do not want to watch the trailer. I just want to go in blind. That's, cool. That's the best. And wow. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> okay. Where did the inspiration for this story come from? For me, it was just about being a father, being a parent. I have two kids, and... Uh, I think, uh, thinking about it, my wife and I were arguing about how we were raising our kids and arguing, fighting, discussing what was important to her, what was important to me, and I had a lot of questions, and I was watching my friends have kids and how they were raising their kids, and, you know, you really are responsible for another soul, and they're going to have, your, you know, your major impact on their lives. The first things they learn, the first things yeah. they see, exposed yeah, yeah, to. Absolutely, and you make all these decisions about what they're eating, and in the beginning it's about food, and then later it's about what they're watching or what they're going to read or where they go to school, and... I always had a, I had a lot of questions about what kind of parent I wanted to be. What are, what are my values? What really are my values? And what do I want to pass? What do I want my kids to know about in the world? And so I put it in the form of a story. Yeah. Vigo, your character is so complex. Yes. Where did you uh, draw on for that? I'm glad you said complex because I felt that too when I read it. I thought this is like he's obviously very passionate. And sometimes maybe borderline crazy. Maybe it depends on your point of view. Um, brave, uh, flawed, he makes mistakes, he tries to make adjustments, he's very human and he's complex. Um, I'd like Matt, I mean, as a parent, I related to it. It's like, well, there's certain things that I did well, I think, mm -hmm. and other things that maybe I could have done better. You can always do better. Yeah. And there is, I mean, the Captain Fantastic is a title that's a little bit tongue in cheek, or it's a question really, more than a title. It could be have a question mark, Captain Fantastic, mm, because is right. he or not? Mm. Uh, and is there such a thing as a perfect parent? Mm. And I think the answer to the movie is no, but you can, you can try, there's nothing mm. wrong. It's like saying, let's make a perfect movie or let's have a perfect life or marriage or democracy. There is no such thing, mm. but striving for it is great. Mm. And in striving for it, going to extremes to be a great parent, mm. you're gonna make mistakes. And that's almost more important than the striving. It's what do you do? Part of the striving is, well, so if I realize I've gone too far and I'm, I'm making a mistake here, can I recognize that? Can I admit it? And can I do something about it? Mm -hmm. Can I try to, you know? A lot of it's about communication, finding a balance with other people and f finding a way to interact in a healthy way. I mean, I don't, and that's a lot of what the story's about mm -hmm. to me. What would you like parents to take home after seeing the film? Well, I don't think there's a message. I didn't write it to say this is, you should do this, but I think the journey of the character is somewhat about balance in life, and I think about moderation, and I think that, I think that really if, if hopefully it appeals to people who aren't parents, you know, I, I think we've shown it to, to people who are teenagers and they've related to it, and why do they relate to it? Well, I think there's hope in the movie, but they also relate to it because we all are part of a family and they it's, have parents, you know. It's hard to be a parent, but it's not impossible. Yeah. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, you know, I like movies that we all reflect on our lives, whether we're parents or not, and we sort of look at yourself and say, what are the decisions I'm making and how are they impacting the people around me? You know, and I think, I hope the movie does that a little bit. You know? mm. Are you a father? No, I'm not. Okay, but you had, you were related to the movie in some yeah, level. Yeah, I really enjoyed and it. And it wasn't yeah. about being a father. So no. it was sort of about the questions it asks about how, because really you can extrapolate the question from I'm being a parent to being a a person, like or a man in my case, mm -hmm. like what what do I want to do? How do I, how, you know? Um, it made me question like what type of father do I want to be and like right. how do That's I want good. to raise my kids and like kind of seeing and like how the you relate sides. to your fellow human. Exactly. Am I challenging myself yeah. enough as far as learning things mm -hmm. and developing myself? I mean, it tells you that too. You look at these people and go, wow, these, they're like all athletes and they know yeah. everything, they read everything. I mean, I need to read more books, kind mm. of, you know, it's like one thing I would have watched, read yeah. the script, I thought, oh my God, these kids, the way they speak about the novels and the science mm. books and the, the languages that they're learning and their skills, is like, it's, impressive. it's kind of daunting, yeah. but, and sometimes you think, well, this is, An aspirational. they're, they're crazy.